Brian B. Barton, and I would like to welcome you to this Wednesday's edition of The Word Is Your Stage, where you control the outcome. It's week five. Last week, we talked about building the foundation, and I was out in Paris, France, where I had an opportunity to take a little vacation, take a little bit of time to relax, even though I still had work that I need to be done. But now I'm home, but I came home to a little bit of of weather. It's snowing outside, so it's not much that I can do outside. However, there's still work that needs to be done. So I decided to take this time to come into the garage and work on the car a little bit. And it brought me to this message. I wanted to say to you that in order for you to be successful in life, sometimes you have to be willing to get your hands dirty. Now, I'm working on my project, the 1979 El Camino, and you know, it's running good, but in order for me to get into the tip-top shape that I want it to be, I'm going to have to get dirty. I'm going to have to get under the hood. I'm going to have to break some things apart. I'm going to get a little bit of oil and grease on me. I might even bloody my knuckles a little bit, but that's what's required in order to get this car running the way that I want it to do because it takes a lot of effort to be able to get things moving, get things working, especially a project like this. It's old, it's been sitting up for a while, and now... It's an opportunity for me to turn something that's old and corroded into something that's new. And that's what I want to say to you in your life. If you want to see movement, if you want to see change, if you want to make things happen, sometimes you're going to have to be willing to get dirty. Sometimes you're going to have to be willing to get a little grease on you. Sometimes you're going to have to be willing to get a little dirt on your shoulders, a little put in a little sweat because a lot of times we expect in life for things to be handed on us, handed to us on a platter. However, that's not how life operates. We gotta go through, through some turmoil. We gotta climb some hills. We gotta overcome some obstacles because things are not just gonna happen the way we want to. Because if it was easy, everybody can do it. Everybody would do it. However, that's what separates the weak from the strong. That ability to be able to go in there and get dirty, go in there to suffer through some pain, go in there to put that extra last rep in when, 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 you're, when, you're, when your muscles are fatigued in the gym. So I want you to go into this week saying that whatever you have, whatever goal that you have, be willing to put in that extra effort, be willing to get dirty, be willing to grind, be willing to grit, be willing to put in that, that work that you normally wouldn't do on a normal basis. If it's snowing outside, you might have to go out there and shovel that, that driveway. Who cares about the weather? Because sometimes the elements of the earth is not strong enough to prevent us from getting the job done, to prevent us from doing the things that are necessary for me to do. Because oftentimes we like to look for excuses. It's human nature. However, it is not the time or the season for excuses anymore. This is a time of making things happen. It's a time of making our goals come into fruition. And in order for us to do that, we gotta be willing to put in the work. And sometimes that work is going to be hard work. Sometimes that work is going to be dirty work. Sometimes that work is going to require for us to go through a little bit of grit, go through a little bit of pain, go through a little bit of something that we are not used to, to be uncomfortable. So I tell you, get dirty. Go through a little bit of pain. Because in the end, the victory is going to be sweet. So I want you to remember that the word is your stage and you control the outcome. God bless you.